Stonington schools earned an A on the first day back. School officials say staff and students did a great job navigating the new hybrid model. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan joins us live from Stonington and Kevin seems like it was off to a good start. Everything was great. The word smooth, Aaron, and they said there weren't any glitches. Now, if you talk to students, teachers or even parents, they were all comfortable with what went on today under this whole new program. On our full virtual day. Algebra 1 math teacher Ben Down says the hybrid method works. He had a dozen students in class with him this morning while others were learning from home via their Chromebooks. You can view this specifically and they see stuff as I write it. It went more smoothly than I actually expected and it wasn't as bad so the classes were smaller. Stonington High families were surveyed as to how they want their students to learn in school, virtual or hybrid. Certain groups, cohorts, certain days. And Wednesdays, a virtual day for all for total disinfecting. Senior Chloe Klobenheyer opted for now to go virtual from home. For my own safety and for others as well, I just felt that it was a better idea for me personally. I'm glad we're at least able to do the hybrid approach so they get some socialization. The high school is well marked for maintaining social distancing with hand sanitizers, sprays, and hands-free hydration stations. And because of the pandemic, what happens to the lockers? The students can't use these. They have to put everything, their whole life, in their backpack. It's going to be challenging, obviously, still being half and half in school and online. Today, I would say is a definite A, A+. Plus. A huge challenge, too, for administrators making sure it all works seamlessly for the moment the buses roll in. So exciting to have life back into the buildings. Uh, the kids look ex looked excited coming into the buildings. They were so compliant. And a learning curve for teachers, too. You got to accept it. Um, you know, everyone's doing their best to, to get through it. And, you know, we've got kids at home. We've got kids in the building. It's an adjustment. It's something that we'll get through. And uh, we, we are where we are. And we're just going to have to do the best that we can. And according to the survey by the parents in the school, 82% of the students are back in school physically on this location on the campus, and 12% opted to do it virtually from home. If you want to learn more, we have more. Just go to the Channel 3 app. Live at the Mobile Newsroom in Stonington, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.